Hi, my name is Felicia Gath. I'm one of the district ed tech facilitators. I service the north region of the district. And today I would like to share with you the different types of assignments that are available to you through Google Classroom. The first thing I want you all to see is that uh, for those of you all who are familiar with Google Classroom, I am on the string page where uh, announcements um, or new posts will pop up based on how you have your actual classroom notifications set up. Uh, up here on our toolbar, we have the options to be on the stream, which is our current page, to go to classwork, people, or grades. Today, we are strictly focusing on the classwork tab. So I'll click on that. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, an assignment. So I'll click on create. I'll click assignment. And here I can give my assignment a title. So I'm going to say reading comprehension. main idea. Here I am going to give my students instructions. Read the attached. Passage. And answer. The questions. Follow. So now I've given my students directions. Down here is where I can uh, attach different files or resources or materials that are needed to complete this assignment. So I can go to my Google uh, Drive. I can upload a file. I can add a link. I can even add a YouTube video or I can attach something that is new. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to upload file. I am going to browse to see because I want to do a download. I'm going to search for my download here. And the download that I'm looking for is this worksheet. So I click on it, open it. And now I have uh, that particular worksheet for my students. And it says students can view file. What I want students to be able to do, because I want each student to do it independently, I'm going to select make a copy for each student so that way as they uh, go into the link, it's going to force them to make their own copy. Um, I can go over here and identify who, which class I want this particular assignment to go to, uh, which I'm going to stay with Ms. Gath, but I uh, pull up all of the different classes that I have in Google Classroom as options. I can also either select all of my students to receive this particular si assignment, or if I have my students broken up into groups based on their uh, instructional levels, I can select specific students it, that will uh, complete this assignment based on uh, their particular instructional needs. Um, I can give my assignment points. So right now I just said, I'm gonna say it's worth 100 points. I can identify a due date which with this, I would uh, click on my calendar. And so if I am assigning it on the 20th, then I will say that it is also due on the 20th. I'm not going to put a time option because these assignments will be completed in class. I can identify a topic that I have organized this under. At this point, I don't have one. If I have a rubric to score it with, I could definitely do that. And then here, because we're not worried about plagiarism, um, I can also check that off so that this, uh, if the students were composing something, I can make sure that they are not plagiarizing. 
So I can also go here and schedule this draft. Um, I can save it, I can discard it, or I can assign this particular activity to my students. And so now I have my assignment. It says it's due tomorrow. Um, and my students have it available. The next type of, a, uh, of assignment that we're going to look at is we're going to look at quiz assignments. And so a quiz assignment is usually uh, is going to be a Google form. So as you can see, as I clicked on it, at the very bottom, it gave me a link to a blank quiz. And so what I would do is I can go in, I can title my quiz, and I can create the different questions uh, for this particular quiz. And then the students will have access to it. That way, I would say lock mode on Chromebooks so that the students would not be able to go to different tabs uh, to find answers. Here I can say that this is the mid nine uh, weeks quiz. I can tell the students to Click on the link below and complete the quiz. So when I finalize my quiz and I share it, then I am able to have the, um, once the students have completed, I can have the grades imported. The other thing is, is that on the blank quiz, I can, once I finished it with the link that I will have, I can force cop, uh, copy so each child will have their own copy. And then again, you have the options to select a classroom, to select which students, the points, the date is due, uh, to identify which topic it'll be under, add a rubric, and you can check again the plagiarism if you if necessary. So we've talked about regular assignments and quizzes. Let's go to see what other options we have as far as types of assignments. The next type that we have would be a question. And in here, you can type the question. Um, let's just say, um, how did you identify? the main idea in the story. So this could also be used as almost like a discussion board. And so uh, students can uh, write in uh, their, they can, you can determine whether it's gonna be a short answer question or if it's going to be a multiple choice question. Um, I am going to say short answer uh, right here for instructions. I will put in, make sure that you use text support in your response. I could put, make sure that you write in complete sentences. Uh, if there are any other things that we've been working on that I've noticed my students have had a hard time with, with short answer questions, I can add that in there. I can also go here and I can upload uh, the story from my Google Drive. I can upload a file, a link, 
um, or add just a new item in order to support the students so that, they have, so that they will have the text there available to be able to use the tech support or to provide tech support. Again, over here, I have my selection of my class, my students, the points, the due date, the topic. But this time I have the option for students to reply to each other or students can edit each other's answers. We don't want to uh, enable students can edit the answers because that way it would possibly, someone could possibly change someone's answer. But because we are saying that the students can reply to each other, I can put on here, make sure that you use tech support in your response. Respond to two classmates. Post. And so I have all of that. Then again, I can schedule. I can, um, I can go ahead and post it by saying ask. I can schedule it. I can save a draft and say I'm going to come back to it later and finish it. Or I can discard it and start all over. So our, our next type of assignment that we're going to look at um, would be reuse posts. And so when you say reuse post, then you can go into a previous class or another class um, and select a post that has been done. Uh, of course, this class doesn't have one. And once you click on it, you can say reuse post and it will be posted into your uh, classwork. Another tab that is uh, something that is useful would be the materials tab. And so you can talk to them about what's the title of that particular material or resource. How, you can give a description of how they would use that resource. And then down here again, you can add the resource to uh, your particular classroom. So that concludes the types of assignments that you have available to you in Google Classroom. Don't forget that you can always create your own new items and add things such as a Google slide, um, an activity that you want them to complete, an interactive activity. Uh, so just make sure that you are using all of the options that are available to you. I hope that was helpful and we will continue to share a series of short videos to help you with your instructional tasks, especially if there is an uh, opportunity for us to go back into virtual or online uh, teaching. Thank you.